Thank you so much for coming out tonight. I am really, really excited to play uh, some of my music and um, old friends, familiar friends, family, and um, thank you so much for coming in this uh, town in Brooklyn. I'm not sure how it was your uh, tra traveling, is it? Yeah, Ho hopefully it was not too bad, and parking and everything. <laughs> um, I wrote each songs with some kind of uh, stories, and um, I think I think it might be a little kind to tell you the story, the background story before I could I start the song. So the first song I'm gonna play name is the name is Her Morning Waltz. So I wrote this for my mom, mother, uh, that for her morning. So I'll briefly tell you the story. So my mom, when she, since she was little, she, when she got married, she imagined her marriage, marriage life as a, a bride. She thought she can have a beautiful morning with classical music and a cup of tea or something like that, an elegant, beautiful morning. But she said she, it never happened. This, <laughs> she had to uh, lazy uh, me and my sister, <laughs> two lazy girls who never wake up by themselves, and my dad needed the full meal of Korean, if you know what I mean, like oh, soup and, and everything. So she had to work extra, she had to get up earlier, and she goes to bed later, and after that whole mess, she had to clean up and everything, and on top of it, she was um, running a, a music school too. So she had really um, busy life, and I really appreciate it. I mean, and, and I, I could play piano by, by her. I totally yeah, I want to dedicate this song for her, for her morning that she couldn't have. Oh. That's uh, her morning one. Is it too sad? No. <laughs>
can talk. <laughs> can I just say something real quick? Yes. I would uh, on this mic channel. I would, if you can, I would pull back like seventy or seventy-five hertz because that D is pretty explosive. Sorry, this is like some really technical garbage. I don't want to ruin the concert with it. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> but since we're like re since we're recording and yeah, right. it's, a little boomy. Where is it you? it's the D so it's about 70 75 I think want to en enhance your listening experience. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you guys like that song? I like that yeah. song. Oh, yeah. Isn't that a pretty song? Yeah. 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 She loves it. So, you know what? So, I, yeah. I tried to write a song for her uh, about seven years ago, and I wrote a little bit, and I recorded it with my phone, and I was like, I wrote something for you, and she listened to it, and she said, uh, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> you can try hard, like you can try harder. Okay. So she said no for it. So I had to study seven years more too. <laughs> and she said, "Yeah, this one I like it. I accept it." And she was like, "Oof, it's very hard." <laughs> this is this sounds good to me. Thank you. back a touch but if, if you're happy with that I'm happy. Thanks guys. The next tune uh, we are going to play is the flight of migrants and I'll try to make it very quick. Uh, it has uh, three stories that I'm trying to um, combine. First is the Greek myth of Icarus that you burn yourself by by admiring sun or something that you're chasing in your dream or whatever. So it sounded like us coming to New York. And also migrants means uh, uh, birds. So I was trying to make the birds movement. You probably can <laughs> hear it. And also people, uh, migrants. And it just says, uh, three, three combination makes some kind of uh, story I found and I wrote a song and hopefully you could Hear this to myself. And it's really difficult. I wrote it, but I I might make some. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah, I'll try I'll, I'll try to make it.
thank you so much. Uh, that is difficult, oh my god, I think I'm really sweating. <laughs> but they made it really, really wonderful. Um, I am very happy and fortunate to uh, meet these great musicians in my life and finally uh, let my first CD out. And I want to talk about you. <laughs> my drummer, Peter Tromiller, is an uh, amazing uh, drummer from Austria, and he is an absolutely amazing pianist as well. And I, I, I was just shocked to see his knowledge of harmonic and melodic and everything, and on top of it, his rhythm, of course. So when we were playing together, he, more than any drummer, I should say that, right? He's one of the... <laughs> that's an Amer American expression. You are the one of the very rare drummer who understands uh, my harmonica and all the languages. And I am extremely uh, fortunate to have him. And he's also a very generous and kind soul who agrees to hours of hours of rehearsal. So. <laughs> And I feed him something, you know. <laughs> and that's it. Can you do both from Ipanema? Sure. And next tune will be the Golf from Ipanema of my arrangement. Uh, I play this tune uh, at the International Jazz in Women with these guys. And we got the first, first prize. So first place or something. So we're happy to play. And this is Bossa Nova in four, which is uh, not exactly a Bossa Nova form, but you guys like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're trained. <laughs> so, this is only one of two uh, Jet Standard that I have on my I have on my first album, and hope you guys enjoy. It. And feel free to clap, feel free to scream and or yell if you don't like it or <laughs> especially my father in law. <laughs> like, no, no thank you, not for me. <laughs> so feel free to say something and I think that you will record of course your voice and I will be happy to have your own voice. Thank you.
will be um, the stars fell on Seoul. And I took the name from Stars Fell on Alabama. Uh, because I love the song too much and then I I miss Seoul and Alabama. I haven't been there. <laughs> and um, I um, wanted to use one of the Korean clave with a yes. Korean percussion that came from Korea from my dad. The name is Peter. Do you remember the name? I remember the name of the clave, but they always sound Indian, so I don't want to say it. <laughs> and the name is say. the name is Gengari. 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 Yes, Gengari. Gengari. Can everybody say? Gengari. Thank you so much. It sounds like this. Yeah. yeah, so he's gonna use it a little yeah. bit just so to make sure like we thing. have some yeah. Korean I like sound. That, I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, we're gonna play. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, song for this set is going to be my arrange arrangement of They Can't Take That Away From Me, the standards. <laughs> Like this, but with one thing, and we'll give you some kind of modern hip hop ish. Is it? Sure. <laughs> Something yeah. like that. Yeah. I try. I try to make it a little hip. Um, we'll see. Yeah. And I want to talk about this guy. <laughs> it's busy. My Sloniker. I and uh, I got to know him through Peter John Miller and Peter. Recommended recommended him totally that, and I could see why because he just, I think he was just really perfect fit for my <laughs> my songs, especially because he plays so beautifully melodically, and his tones and everything is so beautiful. Your gut strings are so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> gut good. Gut. Not gut. 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 gut no, not gut. Gut. Gut string. Gut string. Gut string. Gut string. I don't actually know. I don't. It's I, it's not big let's not think about it right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really vegan, I guess. It's probably not. It's, no. uh, I'm sorry, but my father-in-law says uh, they have faith. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let's Everybody choose to believe that. Yeah, we get to play beautiful music. So here is they can't take that away from me thank you so much and we're gonna take a short break and then we'll be back thank you